Morgan, how are you today? I'm okay. I'm so glad we had off yesterday. I really needed to recharge. I'm glad you were able to take some time to recharge. You know, taking care of yourself is so important. I've had the chance to do some listening and learning in your classroom, and today we will have uh, the chance to set a goal for our first coaching cycle of the year. Okay. Tell me, what are some successes you've had with your class so far? Well, the kids are so happy to be back in school in person, and it's been a pretty smooth transition. Um, we're getting to know each other. We're building relationships. I've had a lot of success with the setting some routines, like um, coming in, getting settled, and coming to the rug for a read aloud. And I've also had the opportunity for the children to work and talk together. And we've also created some routines and procedures around that. Excellent. These are all really great successes. We know that building relationships is so important for children in order to learn. And creating routines with students helps them to feel a sense of ownership and responsibility. From what I've seen, you're also helping the children get to know some of the social and uh, fam familial aspects of their identities, and you're using the language friends, all of which help children to understand and respect one another, and and this fosters um, and fosters those relationships with one another. What are some areas of growth for you that you would like me to help support you with? I think definitely student engagement is one. Um, I want them to um, increase their participation in the lesson, and I also really would like them to increase their um, stamina in writing and with their three part writing. Yeah. Okay. So you would like me to support you around increasing student participation and engagement, as well as increasing stamina and skills in writing. Is yes. that correct? Yes, definitely. Good. Okay. So if we were to choose one to two child outcomes that we would like to see around these areas, what would they be? Okay. How about um, children will demonstrate um, an intrinsic motivation in learning. Mm -hmm and the students will strengthen their writing habits and also their identities through the planning and revising stages of it. Great. These outcomes, so increased intrinsic motivation in learning and strengthen writing habits and identities through planning and revising, right? Yes. They're great goals to focus on in this coaching cycle. Uh, so before we set some teacher actions that will help us to meet these goals, I'd like to help guide you through a visual, visualization exercise that will help you to envision what your class would look like when these goals are met. Is that okay with you? Sure, that would be great. Okay, so this this is an exercise that's adapted from um, some authors of a book called Facilitated Coaching, um, Gail Schwartz and Andrew Ritz. So um, this is just to help you to be able to envision your how your classroom would run if your goals were were met. So. Let's just take a minute um, and, and feel your feet connecting to the ground. Your shoulders relaxing, jaws dropping, forehead's melting. Take a deep breath. Take a few full breaths. Maybe inhale. So I'm going to, I'm going to guide you through some questions and um, when you, um, when you visualize, when you're done visualizing, I'm going to ask you to visualize what you would like to see. Okay. So, okay. You can either close your eyes or you can just look down. So <clears throat> I want you to think about this goal, increasing intrinsic motivation and strengthening writing habits and identities through planning and revising. So if you're, you are um, imagining what your class would look like in your classroom, your students have met the child outcome of increasing motivation in writing. They strengthen their writing habits and identities through planning and revising. Expect to see as evidence 
that we are meeting as well. Now I'd like to invite you to reflect on what you visualize. Would you like to share what you visualized? Sure. So I visualized the children very excited and wanting to talk with each other, wanting to share out. It's very active, but it's it's guided activity. Mm -hmm. um, they got the tools that they needed. They started working right away on their writing. Um, I was walking around making sure that they were um, engaged and working independently. And the children really seem to want to spend their time reading over, and writing, editing, revising. And it's a lot of engagement, a lot of activity. Great. Thank you so much for sharing your visualization with me. So in order to achieve your ideal outcomes, children sharing with one another about their work, gathering tools and resources, settling in independently, not wanting to stop their work and spending time revising and editing their writing. What are some teacher actions that you could take to get you there? Okay, the things I need to do, I have to give them a, a lot of opportunities to write on topics that are interesting or motivating to them, things that are important to them. Um, maybe a story, um, uh, outside activity, school, interests that they might have mm -hmm. so that it's meaningful and it motivates them even further to mm -hmm. write. So you're thinking of allowing students to choose yes, what they write about. Absolutely. Okay, great. That's a great idea because allowing students to choose a topic gives them a sense of autonomy, which is also proven to um, increase motivation in students. Um, so let's write that down. That um, we're going to allow students to choose a topic. This also helps them to develop, you know, their sense of autonomy because if they can share, you know, their life with their classmates, that helps them to um, be able to help their classmates understand their own, you know, what their identities and right. celebrate each other's um, identities and affirm them. Great. Uh, so, what else could you do? I could do mini lessons mm -hmm. around the the actual writing process, like revising, editing. Mm -hmm. So you details, could, adding details to their writing. Mm -hmm. You could offer some mini lessons around editing what we said over the day. Um, oh, oh, adding details. Adding I'm details. sorry. Yes, I went yes, blank. yes. Yes. Good. Adding details. Good. Um, Good. And these are all lessons that I can support you around. So um, I think we have a lot here to, to start off with. This is great for our, for our hosting set. So I'm thinking that, um, I'm thinking we could get started next week, right? So where would you like to get started? I think probably the best place to start is just getting them used to generating their own ideas mm -hmm. on, on what they want to write about. Um, and then once they choose the idea, then we can kind of shoot from there and work mm -hmm. on the actual writing process, the editing, the revising, and the detail part of it. Yes. That sounds like a solid plan. So if we start with a mini lesson on generating ideas for writing, mm -hmm. and then we have the students choose an idea to write about, and then we can create maybe mini lessons for editing and revising and adding details. That sounds great. Good. So when we have uh, we have the ideas for our lesson, and then I'll check in with you in between the lessons. And by the end of this set of lessons, then we can assess if we've met the student outcomes of in increased intrinsic motivation and strengthening writing skills through revising and editing. Uh, and then when I meet with you next week, um, we will plan the lesson on generating ideas. Would you like me to model this, co-teach it with you, or would you like to teach it and I will observe with a specific tool set? I think that would be fun. Great. So um, let's come together next week for our uh, pre-conference, and we'll each have we'll have ideas, and then we'll write up the lesson plan, and we'll co-teach it together. How does that sound? Sounds perfect. Great. Thanks. Thank you. I'll see you next week. Same see time. Next week.